God has never forgotten one of his. And if you're broken today and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior and you want to know him, you want to have hope, you've tried everything you know how to do and you still feel alone, I want you to know right now today in your home, wherever you are, Jesus can touch you. He can heal the brokenness. He can heal your hurts. And he can bring your life around full circle. Maybe your marriage will be healed. That's our prayer. But for me, that's not what happened. But God healed our relationships. And my husband went home to be with the Lord. And God brought a Boaz into my life. And God healed my family. And my children are serving the Lord. And we have a wonderful, abundant life. Don't think because you're in broken circumstances that God has forgotten you and you don't have a future. Right now, we are daughters of destiny. We have a future with God. Yes. You have a meeting today. Yes. If you are hearing these words, that God loves you and God wants to meet with you right now. So beautifully said. Because you need to reach out also. There are, they feel so alone. Absolutely. You know, they really do. And that was beautifully said. They need to be encouraged with that, that God will certainly hold a hand because he's no respecter of persons. No, no. And, you know, the Lord also wants to encourage you with his peace to know that, you know, remember that the Lord never promised your vineyard peace from Isaiah, but he has promised you peace as you labor in, the in your vineyard. Amen. And that's the key. Amen. You know? We have to get up and get busy in God. And we are laborers. And, and labor. we're co-laborers. Yes. You're my co-laborer. Absolutely. We are laborers. We are making that ground fertile. We are plowing through. People need to get a vision of who you are in the kingdom of God. Absolutely. And unless you have that vision, visualize yourself when the enemy comes in to attack you. Vis visualize yourself picking up this double-edged sword of yes. the spirit. And, and going through and, and visualize yourself plowing. We have to plow. We have to get everything out of the way. Let the anointing come forth to get those roots that only he can. Because unless those roots are destroyed, they're going to keep coming up again. We know how many times when even in the natural, when we yes. want to plant and yes. make a beautiful garden. Uh, you have to pull the weeds. You've got to pull them and get that long, long <laughs> root out. Because if you don't, it's going to keep coming back to Absolutely. haunt you. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. But you've got to know that's the root and it's coming out. And it doesn't have place to stay. That's right. You know? But it, it's so wonderful that God has given us the complete, complete picture here and the complete, so to speak, plan, will. Yes. Absolutely. Testament. Absolutely. That no matter what it is, no matter the guilt that you feel you may have, or the condemnation is not of God. No. Forget it. It's behind you. That's right. Today's a new day. God certainly has allowed this program to minister to you. And like Pastor Sharon said, we can't stress enough. If you happen to put it on, there's no coincidences, and you don't know Jesus Christ, we certainly encourage you to get to know Jesus, get yourself in a local assembly yes. that's filled with the Spirit of God. And you will never, ever, ever be the same. You will be so fulfilled, and God will bring those laborers yes, in your path will. who you who you rightfully need to mentor you. You know, it, well, no one is called to be an island unto themselves. And I, I want to leave you with this also, because unfortunately we never have enough time. But ask yourself, are you being commissioned by God's Spirit? Or have we birthed our own plan? You have to really be very honest with yourself. It's yes. all about honesty. Are you really trying to, to work out your Christianity, your walk with your own plans, your own fleshly desires? Please don't do that any longer if you have been up until this point because That's nothing right. is gonna, nothing good is going to come out of that. It's a matter of totally, like you said, giving the reins over, over to your Lord, your Savior, your Redeemer, your King of Kings. Give them over to him with humility, with complete submission, and watch and see how your life will turn around for the better. Amen. Uh, we would love to hear from you, Pastor Sharon. Before we, we close the show, please let the viewers know where your church is and, and whatever else you'd like to add to that. Amen, Pastor Gracie. It was wonderful to be here today and, and to Such share with you. Absolutely. We always have a great fellowship together. Amen, we do. We are located in uh, Massapequa, North Massapequa, on uh, Hicksville Road, 107, Praise Tabernacle Church. Uh, we uh, would love to have anybody come and visit and see what God can do for you. God loves you today. 
uh, we're working to 